Welcome to my tutorial 8A. It's titled More Questions and Answers. It's a follow-up to tutorial 8. The last thing we have to do is on this question number 2 for the two answer buttons we have to advance to our movie clips and we'll just make sure we have that. Click here. I'll check the true one. It's advancing me to the movie clip. The correct movie clip. And check the false one. And it's advancing me to the wrong two movie clip. We're going to now make a third question. And it's going to be a similar format but just to give you a different idea other than just a straight multiple choice with questions. Open the questions layer. Insert a keyframe. And the reason we're going to insert a keyframe because it will bring the question block with us. Insert a keyframe. And here it is. And we're going to call this question number three. And it's going to be which is the largest Where's the question mark which is the largest we'll lock that frame we'll open our buttons frame and we'll go back to frame 2 and pick up just these buttons just pick up one of them right click on the false because there's more false answers right click on the false copy it Insert a blank keyframe on the third button frame and do a right click paste in place and there is our button. Now let's take that button and make it smaller, change its size. So click on the transform tool and let's just click and drag and make it slightly like that. There it is there. Selection tool. Right click. See when you got them crosshairs, right click on it. Copy. Paste in place. Tab it over a little bit. And let's make this one here a little smaller. There it is there. We can right click, paste in place again, tab this one over, grab this corner, pull it up. It'll make this one the biggest one. There it is there. That's going to be our answer. Which one's the largest? Again, right click, paste in place, tab over, and we'll make it. There it is there. Very small. So let's open up this bigger. There's our answers, our buttons. Make some more square than not. And let's go for action code. Pick the selections tool up. Select this first button. This is going to be wrong three. So what I do is just change it to a three. This one is going to be wrong three. Just change it to a three. This one will be correct three. So <coughs> correct three. And this last one will be wrong three. Now that's my three buttons. Let's now make the answers. Open up the answers layer, right click on frame 3 and insert a blank keyframe. Select that layer, rectangle tool, I'm going to make it red, click right here in the corner and cover that. There's one, two, three, there's our buttons. 
there's our answers now what you have to do is make up a wrong three movie clip and a correct three movie clip and I'm going to pause and do that the most important thing here is that when you drag your movie clips onto scene one is that you give them an instance name there it is wrong three and that on your in your movie clip that last frame with your action script make sure now you're going to send us to frame four so we can do the last question let's just see if this works test my movie I'm going to click the correct answer there the correct answer here and correct answer there so that's working there's another type question that might be interesting and it is math questions so let's open up the questions layer right here I'm locking them all open up the questions layer and I'm going to insert a keyframe again the keyframe brings the last question with me and I typed in this question fill in the answer and click on the black oval and here's my math question 3 plus 9 plus 4 equals if we're going to have a answer we want a spot to put it we're going to select another frame insert a blank keyframe in your answer line unlock it use your text tool right here your text tool make sure you're on dynamic text I have to select it again make a text box here and give it some size font zero zero put two zeros in my text box and I'm going to align it just slightly down here I'm going to call this answer a and SWER answer four I said we'd call it dynamics text but it's actually going to be an input text because people are going to input an answer here so back here input text so select the action script frame one and what's here is a stop now I like to put my variables up top and I'm typing this in underscore root that means I can use it from anywhere should I happen to want to put in a movie clip or something like that answer four and I'm going to put the value zero zero I'm going to click on this box and drag it over so now all that action script is over to there and go back to my answer there there it is there it says fill in the answer and click on the black oval so I need to make that black oval it's going to be a button so open up your buttons layer making sure they're all locked open up your buttons layer insert a blank keyframe and all you need to do is make a button here and then make it in the shape of an oval there it is and it's going to be a button to tell us we put the answer in we now have to write the action script for this button 3 plus 9 plus 4 is 16 so if the answer given is 16 we have to go to a correct movie clip 4 which we gotta make if they give the wrong answer they have to go to a wrong 4 movie clip I'm selecting my oval button I've modified it made it a button and I've typed this in on release if 
the number, that it, the value, the, the digital value or number value of answer 4 is equal. We need two equal signs because that's the comparing. If it's 16, go to correct for a movie clip and we'll say correct. Or else, if that's not true, go to wrong for a movie clip. So now what we got to do is make those movie clips. Before we make those movie clips, uh, we're just going to put a little square here around this answer so people will be directed to that. Lock all your frames. Go way up here at the top. Click on one of your, one of your frames, one of your layers. Insert it. And just call it square on this frame four of our new layer I want to insert a blank keyframe I'm going to pick up my rectangle tool I want no fill right there and I want the outside to be black and I'm going to put a frame around my answer there that's where people will put their answer in this side this frame. I'm going to pause here and make up the two movie clips, the correct for movie clip and the wrong for movie clip. And the most important part is to put them on the scene one and give them the proper instance name. Let's test our movie. And let's give the correct answer here, the wrong answer here, the wrong answer here. And let's type in a correct answer of 16. Hit the, click the black oval, hit correct. And so far, that seems to work. I think we'll now put some score into it, give each one some points, and see if we can keep track of a score. We will make a new layer. We'll call that layer score. And select frame one. And we'll make a text box a static text box and we will write in here total. We'll make it red. We'll make it a fairly good size. This is our total score and total equal. Pull this out a little bit. That's going to be my score, my running score, and you can straighten this out after. And we now need a box for the total score to be in, so selection of my text tool again, dynamic text, and put two zeros in it, zero, zero, align it somewhat to here. We're going to give it a variable name of total, capital T, T, total. We're going to go back to, I'm just going to copy that for a minute. Copy it. Go back to frame one of my action scripts layer. And right here, underscore root, period and then paste in my total equals zero zero colon. So that's been taken care of. Now all we gotta do is have some means of updating this each time we have a question. We'll go to our buttons layer. Make sure everything else is locked. Open our buttons layer.
select the true answer because that's the one that's going to change things and in here we're going to type a statement that will that says underscore root total that's that dynamic text that is going to be equal to some value what it was plus five so it starts at zero and when I get a correct answer it'll go up by five so let's copy that it's just that line right click and copy it go to frame 2 next button true is the correct answer here paste that in here that's correct go to the next button next frame it's this button here now we can't select it because it's under there so we have to move it this layer above yeah now we can select it in here we're going to paste it all right and let's put it back down the bottom so it's out of our way and the last one here is our answer for our dynamic text and it's on this button here and it is when I have my correct answer so right on this line here insert a line and paste it let's see how that works out five points because I got it right five points because I got it right five points because I got it right and let's make this one right and then we'll do some wrongs and that's my final point Let's run it again and let's make a couple wrong. Make this wrong, we get no value. Make this one right, I get a value. Make this one right, I get a value. Make this 44, which is wrong. And I think this is a good tutorial. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you can use it.